Good morning, raccoons. You're ready to join us in the pledge. All right, perfect. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, grab a seat, grab a seat, grab a seat. What did I say yesterday? If you weren't watching, accountable to ourselves and each other. Accountable to ourselves and each other. If we are accountable, homecoming week will be a blast. If we are not accountable to ourselves and each other, homecoming week will be filled with drama. And nobody likes drama unless it's on a stage in the theater provided by our thespians. Again, think about your actions. Think about your commitments. We got a big football game tonight. We could be having a historic homecoming game next Friday with our band that's been prepping the last two months for their halftime performance. Dance and cheer, all the energy and excitement that comes with homecoming week, the parade, window painting on Sunday, powder puff. You could not just throw away those experiences, you could throw away a lot of opportunities that exist for you over the rest of the next nine months. Homecoming is meant to be a celebration of our entire community. It is going to be a blast. Our student council has been working so hard. We are working on those air conditioning units so that dance is not hot and sweaty. We are finding ways to get you outside. It's gonna be a blast and it's all within your control. Accountable to yourself. You got this. Yes. Thank you. Happy Friday, everyone. It's also Wisconsin Day. That's right. Our great state gets its own day. So happy Wisconsin Day. And you know what else? Next week is homecoming. <laughs> There's a lot of fun activities happening all week, so get ready. One of the activities will be Powder Puff Game on Wednesday night. Come out and support the girls. It's seniors and freshmen versus juniors and sophomores. Coached by our Economac Police and Western Lakes Fire Department. Game time is 6.30. Show up. Woo! Also, get your outfits ready for dress-up days. Starting with PJs on Monday, here is a video from Stuco to get started with fit ideas. You know, well, I'm a chicken fried. A cold beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans that fit just right. And the radio oh, 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 oh. I can't wait to dress up. See you all in pajamas on Monday. The Feeding America food drive kicks off Monday as well. Make sure to bring in your non-perishable food items to your third hour class. This is a competition against Arrowhead and we will win for this great cause. Hey raccoons! Hey Lila, do you know what time it is? No, what time is it? It's food drive time! Next week we're competing against Arrowhead to see who can collect the most donations. Oh. <laughs> You'll be competing with your homeroom, so drop off your cans to your third hour class. The winner gets donuts. Pull up to the homecoming football game to see Oka destroy in the food drive and the football game. Woo! So don't forget to bring those food items in starting Monday. UW Stout will be in the rec on Tuesday, and Loyola University will be here on Thursday in student services. If interested in either school, sign up under college visits. Now, here's an updated from OHS Builders. Wow, that's going to turn out great. In club news, the Computer Science Honor Society is having its first meeting today during lunch in room 212. And for all you gamers out there, hang tight. Game Club has their first meeting on Wednesday, October 2nd at East Campus. See you then. Up next, we have Noah with an interview. I have Andrew here from uh, FBLA. 
Yeah. So I'm Andrew. I'm here for FBLA. FBLA has competition, networking, and local business tours. FBLA's first meeting is on September 26th in the Little Theater during Pride. Sign up under, sign up under Mary. What does FBLA hope to accomplish this year? Uh, we want to get a lot of people to go to competition. Very cool. We look forward to more FBLA updates in the future. Thank you, Andrew. Now a couple teams are playing tonight. We've got football at seven at Brookfield Central. The theme is construction. And volleyball plays at the Milwaukee Sting Center at four. Make sure to cheer on either football or volleyball teams. Good luck. Up next, we have Brayden with this weekend's weather forecast. Ooh. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed the hot weather this week, even though main campus can be pretty hot at some times. Good news is that we are going to cool down just as fall arrives on Sunday. So look forward to that. So for today, I have 83 degrees and partly cloudy skies. Those clouds are just left from the overnight showers and storms that came through. I am expecting those clouds to clear out, and we should see a lot of sun by this afternoon. And then Saturday, a high of 86. It's going to be a hot one, mostly sunny skies. And then Saturday evening, some showers and storms move in, continuing into Sunday with a high of 72 degrees. And again, first day of fall on Sunday. And then Monday, we cool down even more with a high of 68 degrees and mostly cloudy skies. So again, main message for this weekend is enjoy the hot day on Saturday because it might be our last hot day in quite some time, maybe even this season. So. <laughs> Thanks, Brayden. Have a great weekend, everyone. Make the best of it. Make good decisions and use the weekend as a relaxing reset for the big week ahead. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at OHS Digital Productions and Instagram at OHS underscore RCC. As always, share your news with our team at RCC at OESD.org. To close, here's Mr. Curtis with the joke of the day. All right, all right. Oh. All right, this one actually made me laugh. Why did the traffic light turn red? Have the best day of your life, raccoons. <laughs>